So in this video we're going to make a footprint from a data sheet, in this case a switch, the tactile switch. So pulling up the data sheet you'll see that this data sheet, like many, contain multiple different devices on one data sheet. So you have to be careful to make sure you get the right, the right device. So we're looking up EVQ TechQ. And here it is, all of these different part numbers are the same footprint, they just represent a slightly different switch. Oh, this is it. So you can see the same footprint, but different model numbers have different operating forces, different heights. That's not really of any concern for us right now. So we're going to make a new footprint and this time we're going to name it the same as the part number that all of these part numbers fall into. So EVQQQ2 and it's a switch. Whatever naming convention you want to go by to keep yourself organized, that's okay. There are, I think, standards and different companies would probably want want them named different different ways and different companies also have library managers that would manage those parts and have a standard for organizing so again I'm just going to find the center of these pads since we are going to drop them using a coordinate system and everything in EOCAD uh, is based on its center point, so the center point of the pad. So the X point will be half of the 3, 6 and plus a half the 3, 2 Give us a negative three four. And the y value is two. And we're going to make the pad size based on this three two and one. So we select S and D. working in the top layer and we will make our pad size 3, 2 by 1. The roundness is just the corners that might be important. Different uh, data sheets might have guidelines on that. It may be more important with pick and place but using a 0% roundness I've never had problems for a one-off board that I solder myself. And I'm just going to use the corners of the box using the up button and the text entry box will give me the history and I change it accordingly. Now one thing you want to definitely make sure is that each one of these footprints corresponds to the right pin on your schematic symbol. So let's just double check that. This is one of those things where if you get it wrong it will ruin your board. This switch will be shorted and it won't even be a switch. So this pin is one and it connects to pin two. So I'm going to write it on here just to be safe that this should be one and this should be pin two. Again they name it B and B prime that's our one and two. You probably could just name it BNB Prime if you wanted to. So it is one, two, three, and four, just the way we uh, did it. 
connected it with our schematic so they will connect properly and if you notice if you leave your footprint um, and go over to schematic and then come back it defaults everything back to imperial so that's something you want to double check every time so now we're going to do our silk screen our outline which is in the T place layer there is another layer called T dock and that would be suitable as well um, the difference is that place would be a layer for a pick and place that you would use to tell your pick and place machine how to line up your com physical component on the pads whereas document might be more informative uh, however because we're not sending this to a pick and place uh, it doesn't really matter these Eagle Cat outputs Kerber files too whereas a um, other CAD software like OrCAD would output output something that you'd have to run through an ODB or uh, ODB plus plus and that's what that's what gives you CAM files but we're using Gerber files that's just a different standard So now we do the outline of the layers. We base it on the 6.5 and 6 limits given to us from the data sheet. And I'm going to put the keep out. Here I changed the units just to give me a little more resolution. And again, this will never make it to the final PCB. This is just for us as we lay out our parts on a PCB to warn us if we have something in an area it shouldn't be. And we'll put the name and then the value. The difference between T value and B value is the top layer and the bottom layer. I know I've said that in a previous video, but I'll just reiterate that. And if you don't like the color scheme, the default color schemes, you can change that too in your layers. And that's it.